What's up guys, Shane aka Musty Yeti here. Today's going to be a video where we take a look at a couple of scopes from Leapers UTG. Um, I was kind of putting uh, the feelers out, uh, talking to people about maybe getting uh, my toes in the water with the magnified optics, the scope game, and Leapers UTG was kind enough to send me out a couple of their scopes, uh, like I said, just to test, review, and just get some experience behind scopes to see if I really like it. Uh, so they went ahead and they sent me out a 1-8 to that I've had on my AR-15 here for some time and also a three to nine that I've had on my uh, red AR pistol. And I've had both of these for probably three or four months. It's taken so long to get this review out because it's been doing nothing but raining here for weeks, weeks straight. And as you guys know, electronics and camera equipment don't like the rain, so we had to wait for it to let up before we get the review. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and do what we always do, guys. Let's get the uh, camera flipped around so we can take a closer look at these things and talk about a little more detail. All right, guys, here is a closer look at the two scopes from Leapers UTG. Um, I want to start off by saying that I don't have a ton of experience uh, with scopes. I have several red dots, as you guys know, and this is my first shot at trying true magnified optics. Like I mentioned before, uh, Leapers UTG offered to send these out to me just to get me started and help make those longer shots just a little bit easier. I have shot a few scopes, obviously. I have some friends that have some, which include a Leopold and a couple of Vortex optics. So. Um, some experience, very little, but not a whole lot. Um, but we are going to start today's uh, review of the scopes with this little guy here. This is the Leapers UTG 3-9 Compact Scope, or better known as the Bug Blaster. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that this has been on my AR pistol for a while now, like I said, months. Uh, this scope sells for around $85, so it's a really nice low cost for, you, for those of you trying to uh, test out scopes for the first time, kind of like I am. Uh, but let's cover some of the specs of the scope before I talk about my personal thoughts. Like I just mentioned a second ago, this is the 3 9 power magnification. It has a tube of 1 inch in diameter. The objective diameter is 32 millimeters. Uh, the field of view at 100 yards is about 37 to 14. Uh, the eye relief is 4.2 to 3.2. Click values are a quarter inch at 100 yards. It's pretty small at 206 millimeters in length and weighs only 13.9 uh, ounces. Uh, for batteries, this thing takes the um, CR1620. This thing is completely sealed. It's shockproof, fogproof, and rainproof. Uh, one feature you don't get with a lot of scopes is it has a lockable and resettable uh, target turrets. The clicking on these things is super definitive and audible, so you won't mistake if you're turning the dial or not. Inside, you have dual illumination. You can choose between red or green, which is nice. Having the option to do that is great, uh, as red might be better for some situations or environment, however green might be better for another. Inside we have a mill dot reticle. The eye relief, as I mentioned earlier, is fairly large at somewhere between 3 to 4 inches, which really allows you to get a nice comfortable cheek rest when looking through the scope. Lastly, what's really nice about this scope, and I know I mentioned it earlier, but is that Leapers UTG out of the box includes everything you need to get this installed on your rifle and go shooting. Scope, uh, scope mounts, uh, the lens covers, and everything. As for my personal thoughts on this, I've run this scope for some time now and it's treating me very well, especially at the price point it comes in at. Uh, the glass is pretty nice, especially at the price point. Um, I've really enjoyed the longer eye relief, which really has made it more comfortable when shooting. And the dual illumination reticle is a great option that you don't get with a lot of scopes. Lastly, I just like the overall size of the scope. For a while there, I ran this on my AR pistol, like I said before, just for some fun shooting, and its size really made that possible. Um, larger scopes would have looked even more absurd when installed on that thing. Um, I'm really sorry I don't have any video of me shooting the scope. I lost my SD card out the range doing B-roll. Um, I'm guessing it's out in the grass somewhere. Uh, but if you guys want to, you can check my Instagram to see that this thing has been ran for some time now. This is just a nice little scope for a very low cost. I believe this is for sale at Optics Planet for under 90 bucks and has a really great custom review. Something like four at a, four and a half out of five stars. Uh, so if you're in the market uh, and money is an issue, you should really go check out the Bug Blaster from Leapers UTG. All right, guys, here's a close-up of the Leapers UTG 3-9. 3, to nine. Three two, 9. So at the rear of the scope here, we have the adjustment dial. Uh, this thing seems to be pretty good in regards to tension. It doesn't seem to be too, too hard or too easy to adjust, so it shouldn't fall out of uh, magnification for you at all. 
like I said, you can easily see the numbers. You have a little indicator there to show you what magnification you're at, so you can easily adjust if you need to. Uh, moving on up, we have those uh, QD scope rings that I talked about earlier that make it really nice and easy to take it on and take it off and put it on your AR-15 rifle, whatever. Moving on up, we have the uh, turrets and uh, the machine work is really nice here. It's really grippy. Um, nice uh, sharp edges, not too sharp, where you can easily adjust and then lock it down. Uh, just like before, all the numbers and marks are really easy to read. Uh, it tells you up and down, left and right, just like most scopes. Uh, but just everything's just nice, laid out, easy, so you can easily adjust this thing if you need to. Over here is where you're going to do the brightness and color mode for uh, the reticle on the inside. And lastly, up front, we have the uh, adjustment dial for focus. So that's really nice if you're down at three and something seems to be just a little bit off, you can adjust your focus here. And then if you jack it up to nine and it's a little fuzzy, you can just move this a little bit and get it in focus. Again, you have a little uh, mark there to tell you where you're at in regards to focus so you can uh, make it quicker and easier to adjust. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys the reticle inside and the illumination. I'm gonna have to, you have to give me a second to get this all set up because if you know cameras and uh, you know, scopes and the eye relief. It's kind of hard to get everything lined up. So give me a second. I'll come right back. All right, guys, I think this will get the job done. As you can see, you can see the reticle in there. It is glowing green. And adjusting the color brightness is simple. You just grab the turn dial over here and turn it, and it just fades down in brightness, and then it'll go off, and you keep turning, and it clicks right back into red. Turn, keep turning until it clicks off, and then you can just keep turning. So really easy. There's no back and forth. If you know you want to get somewhere and you're down here and you want to get to red, you can just keep going, get down to red. So a really nice, easy adjustment. As you guys can see, red is really bright. So is the green. So definitely, definitely plenty, plenty bright to be outside shooting in daylight. So that is it for the um, close-up look at the 3-9 Leapers UTG scope. The next scope we're going to be taking a look at, the one that I'm most interested in, is the Leapers UTG 1-8 by 28. Uh, this model is the circle dot that sells for around 230 bucks on Optics Planet and has a pretty high rating, uh, just like the 3 to 9 scope we discussed earlier. Uh, they do have a circle mill dot that does come in a bit cheaper, around 200 bucks. So you have some options in regard to this specific scope if money is a deciding factor. Let's cover some of the specs on this guy. Uh, it has a 1.8 magnification, uh, 30 millimeter tube. Uh, just like the previous scope, this sucker is completely sealed, nitrogen filled, uh, shock proof, fog proof, rain proof. Um, it has 36 different color options along with several different brightness settings for your reticle. Uh, this can be all done with what they call their easy tap illumination. Uh, the circle dot is etched in the glass. Like before, we have lockable and resettable target turrets. Its parallax is preset at 100 yards. Just like before, it comes with scope covers, but once you remove the front cover, you do have this integral uh, sunshade up here. And just like before, you do have included uh, scope ring, QD scope rings in the box to make it easy to get it out and get shooting. Let's discuss some of the specs in more detail and share my thoughts on it. Uh, the 1 to 8 is really nice. Just to be able to adjust your scope for, you know, CQB or long range is fantastic. It's like having the best of both worlds. Now I will say to my eye, this isn't a true 1 power when set on 1. It is very close to a true 1 power, but it just feels like I see a bit of magnification when looking through it. Now that's not a big deal as I've seen and heard of several other scopes on the market that do the same thing. Uh, the magnification dial is very easy to adjust. It has a decent amount of resistance uh, that doesn't make it too hard or too easy. I haven't tested how shockproof, fogproof, or rainproof this is as I'm not one of those YouTuber gun reviewers that just beats the crap out of a product until it breaks. So we'll just have to trust them a little bit on that information. Now for the really cool feature of the scope the 36 color easy tap system. Out of the box, it comes set on each button being red or green. You simply tap each button to adjust the brightness, but say you're in a situation where green or red won't do. Uh, simply hold down both buttons for a second and you get into a mode where you can cycle through 36 different colors. Once you find the color you like, just one click away and you're good to go. Uh, this thing also has a cool feature called one click tech memory to really help you get right back to the color and brightness you last used. That's a pretty clever and useful feature on the scope, uh, something I spent what seemed like hours just playing with. Like I mentioned before, we have a circle dot reticle that is etched into the glass. Um, I can't seem to find the exact size of that center dot on the scope, but it appears to be very small, smaller than your standard red dot reticle. 
Uh, the larger circle is just that. It's large. Uh, these two combine for a really quick close quarter acquisition due to that large center circle. Um, and with that smaller dot that's so small, it really allows you to get precise shots at range. The glass itself is pretty good. There might be the slightest of warping around the edges. Um, but I don't really find that to be distracting because when I'm focused on that front reticle, I really don't see it. So you get all of those cool features with this scope and you get all of the mounting hardware. They give a microfiber cloth, they give you Allen keys for adjusting, and even a spare battery. That's right, not one, but two. Leapers UTG sends you this scope so you can take it right out of the box, install it, take it off the range, and go shooting without any extra cost or time to you. All right, guys, here's a closer look at the 1 to 8 Leapers UTG AccuShot scope. Um, at the rear here is that easy tap button system. Uh, you have two buttons uh, by default for green and red. And as you guys can hear, they're super audible. Um, up here, we have the compartment for your battery. Moving on up, we have an adjustment dial for your magnification. Uh, like I said, it goes from one to uh, eight there. And this is a little bit harder to move than the bug blaster. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. I'm just saying it's not super easy. Uh, so that could be good or bad. It's up to you guys to decide that. We have a little indicator here that helps you figure out what magnification you're in and quickly adjust if you need to. Um, we have this little screw here, and I'm not sure if that's for adding a knob to grab and adjust or to lock it down, but that's there. Uh, they do include those scope rings, like I said before. I did make a mistake. These are not the QD model. I don't know what I was thinking, brain fart. But uh, they do include the uh, scope rings, and up front we have the um, sunshade just to help with glare and stuff. Uh, as far as the turrets go, uh, just like before, the machine work is really nice. It allows you to get a really good grip on these things. And you can hear the adjustment there. So you can definitely hear if you're adjusting it. All the numbers and marks are really easy to read for quick adjusting, and you can always lock them down if you need to. Uh, but let's go on back to the uh, easy tap button system. Let's flip this thing around and get focused here, and we'll go through this whole thing. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to switch lenses to the one that lets me manually focus to really lock in on that dot. As you guys can see, there's the circle with the dot. Center dot's really small. Like I said, it's smaller than your average red dot. And a nice big uh, <clears throat> circle uh, on the outside of that. So on the back here, we have buttons. You have uh, the green on the left and the red on the white. There we go. And you simply hit the button and you cycle through all the settings. Pretty simple there. Uh, on the right, you can do the red, and for some reason, the red doesn't show up to be very bright on camera, um, but in my experience, it seems to be just bright enough. I will say in all truthfulness, the green is just a hair brighter, but again, in some situations, green will be harder to see um, than the red. Okay, so now if you want to go in that 36 color mode, you simply hold down both for a second, and now you can cycle through. You can see all of these colors here. Um, and find which one works for you. And then when you're done, you can simply just lock it into place and you're good to go. So that's uh, that's it for the color adjusting and the easy tap system from Leapers UTG. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. As you guys can see, these two scopes really do offer a lot at a really competitive price. If you guys are in the market and you just want to get your toes in the water like I am to try to test out uh, magnified optics and scopes, you really can't go wrong with either of these from Leapers UTG. Like I said, they both have a really good rating on Optics Planet, especially this guy, and that says a lot because you know people are on the internet, they're brutally, brutally honest. So again, if you guys are in the market, feel free to check these things out. Um, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can click on them to see the scopes, maybe see some specs, and potentially buy it if you're interested. But guys, that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment box below. As usual, take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys next time.